We're looking about one meter for the finished uh, width. Would you call it a width? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the 2B1 needs to be cut a little bit longer than your radius, which is half the diameter. Our radius is 50 centimeters, so we cut our 2B1 at 75 centimeters. So we want the overall uh, width of the ring light to be about one meter. So we need to make a hole, um, and I'm just going to mark it with this, at 500 mil, half a meter, in the center of this. And then just to save on wastage, I've come in 20 mil um, at 520 from both sides. Marked my point, so then we just give us a little go in there. Okay, so now all we need to do is jigsaw that out. Safety first. Woo! And there we have perfect circle. For the inner circle, repeat these steps. We decided on a 15 centimetre width of our ring light, meaning we needed to move the nail 15 centimetres in from the outside edge of the 2x1. And here is the start of our ring light. <laughs> so we're just going to paint the front with a quick dab of white emulsion and then wait 16 years for it to dry. <laughs> Now, mark the back of the ring light where you want to put the bulbs. You'll use these marks to drill through for your wiring. Okay, now it's time to uh, fit the bayonet bulbs. I've already done two, so I've kind of just uh, sussed them out how to do it. Um, so we need two holes per one. So we're going to do them right here. So we, we've drilled at a slight angle. Um, so that the wire can just kind of bend down because when you get these um, these on they are it's pretty tight inside so now we need to feed the second wire through keep it to the same length now it's time to wire the lights if you're not confident with electrics seek advice from a qualified electrician Yeah, so we basically we're just going to attach these um, in one ring and then the final one is going to have a five or six meter uh, cord uh, to the plug. Uh, we're using three watt uh, daylight balanced LEDs so that should only give us about 48 watts. It won't get hot um, so yeah it should be cool. Is that alright? Yeah. Is it, is it filming? Yeah. Here's the finished ring light. Uh, I've got an idea that I want to put it onto a boom so we can get it nice and low uh, and angle it down when we need to. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. And then I'll show you the back, what we've done. So basically you've just got each ring um, going through. Now I would recommend if you're not um, familiar with lighting, just hire an electrician to do this. Basically, that's obviously coming from the plug into the first um, the, the first bulb and then a link wire linking each one and to the end one um, that doesn't have a link wire. So yeah, pretty cool. Pretty happy. The ring light gives a unique circular catch light in the eyes of your subject. It's perfect for portraits and I love it. Okay guys, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to comment below and I'll see you on the next one.